Well, good morning, everybody. We do this once in a while, and we're going to do it again today. It's time now for your Home of Economy podcast on Grand Fork's Best Source. Today, we have Jason from the Amish Gallery in the studios with us. And by the way, if you have any questions, feel free to call or text us. Maybe you want to talk to Jason about some new furniture. Our phone number here is 701-213-0863. Again, 701-213-0863. And Jason, uh, welcome to the show, man. Well, thank you very much. Uh, you know, uh, you've been with Home of Economy for how long now? Um, I've been here for almost nine years now. Okay, I've okay. been in furniture for over 20, so. Um, and, and when we talk about furniture, the Amish Furniture Gallery, um, and, and what I know uh, before we get into this more is it's probably some of the best furniture you're going to find anywhere. You know, it's an amazing thing to, to walk into other stores, go into the Amish Gallery, and see what the difference in, in product is oh yeah i mean out there yeah there's no press board and none of that crap in, in that know. furniture and and a lot of people don't know this but the amish gallery uh furniture store is in grand forks and minot is that right that is correct we are in two of our locations right now um so how did you get the amish furniture in home of economy that's actually a very good story you know um home economy has always had a history of carrying finer furniture better american-made quality wood products and and companies like cochran and richardson brothers were out there for a very long time about 15 years ago both of those companies went through a lot of changes with the the u.s uh, manufacturing process and one of them went out of business the other one moved over to china um at that point we were kind of in the the little spot where we needed to find an actual builder in the United States that built fine wood product. Mm -hmm. Um, So actually, um, two of our uh, managers at the time, Glenn and and Bob, had actually been in contact with a couple different people and actually traveled down to Ohio into Holmes County, where we get all our fine furniture from, um, and basically started out with one group. And 15 years later, we work with about 50 different families in that county. Wow. And you know, I never realized this, but does a lot of furniture come out of China? yeah, yeah. It, it basically, does, huh? you know, there's there's. And I mean, I hate to hear that. Almost everybody. <laughs> uh, but what home economy has always tried to do is find product that's U.S. made. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's always been our backbone, and it's been a little struggle in the last few years. But actually, it's been a blessing to be able to find the Amish and be able to work with them. Sure. Now, is the Amish furniture? Is that a completely different thing from Home of Economy, or is this the same company, or how does that work? We are the same company, but. Picture it as a store within a store. When you walk into Home Economy, you can get all the product that you're used to at getting at Home Economy. And then we walk to the back of the store. We're kind of that store within a store Mm -hmm. um, to where you're almost in a whole different area. You're in a carpeted area that sells finer furniture. And and you're able to kind of have that experience where you can get bait and you can also buy an Amish table. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny because uh, when I was in there about a month or so ago, I bought paint and a glider. Um, (laughs) And a a lot of people don't realize that the Amish gallery is back there. And, and when you think, well, it can't be that big because it's a store in a store, but it's the same size as any regular furniture store Absolutely. that you're going to find around here. Absolutely. We've got uh, reclining department, stationary department, dining product. You know, we've got a large area. And actually, we hear from customers all the time. Once they finally make it back there for the first time, I didn't realize how big it was. back mm-hmm. there. You know? Now, you mentioned a few things, but what type of furniture do you carry at the Amish gallery? You know, we carry the whole gamut, uh, but basically we set our sights on U.S. made products. So we carry some wonderful um, Amish made product, obviously from the the small knickknacks all the way up to the large bedroom sets. Um, And then you get into upholstery and we have a wonderful company that's an an Amish um, co-op product called Smith Brothers of Burn, which is a higher end Mm -hmm. sofa group um, company. But we also carry some wonderful U.S. made uh, manufacturers like Craftmaster, Best, Homestretch. Okay. Basically companies that we trust mm-hmm. and we don't have any problems with. You no, know, when you think of the Amish, you think of vintage style, you know, old school, but um, you guys also carry modern and, and uh, do you also do custom orders? Yes. Um, so one of the big myths when it comes to Amish furniture that people kind of picture in their head is old fashioned. It really isn't the case. I mean, yes, they have some styles where you can order if you like that, you know, colonial look or that mm-hmm. Americana look. Uh, but there's really some nice modern styles that these little shops are coming out with that uh, we bring in um, at, a, at a basis to where, you know, basically you can walk through the store and every couple of months you're going to see a new product. Right. Um, there's so many different ways of customizing furniture. So basically you can take a table. You can change what type of wood that you'd like that table to be made of, what stain you'd like, what size you'd like. Basically, 80% of our 
um, Amish um, orders are custom. And we have a trained staff that actually walks you through that process. So yes, we sell what we stock. But a lot of times you can get the exact same table done just a little bit differently and it's it's all your own. Well, it, it, here's what happened to me. Um, <clears throat> I got drug in there uh, because I was over in my part of the store doing my thing and my wife was looking, uh, wanted to get a new glider. And she says, okay, I, I found a glider, come and look at it. And I'm like, okay, I sat down in it for a minute and went, oh yeah, it's great, okay, I'll meet you up there, you know. Half hour later, she's still back there, and I'm like, well, what are you doing? I, I thought you had one picked out. Well, yep. I did, but you got to put this fabric on, and you got to <laughs> figure out what this is going to be. So, Absolutely. I mean, is that considered a custom order then? That is a custom order. So, yes, if you can walk up to a glider, and if it's the right wood that you want and the right color blue, that's great. But some of our products have up to 1,500 different fabrics. And, and to, to some people, like I said, that's overwhelming. But really, we're here to help the process. We want you to get the right piece of furniture for your environment. Okay, so if, if you sit down, we're going to keep using this glider for yep. an example. Yep. Um, if somebody is to, to find a piece of furniture they want, like that glider, and they say, well, boy, I really love this, but I'm, I'm not too keen with this because it doesn't match this or mm -hmm. blah, blah, you know. Do you bring out fabric books or how does Absolutely. that work? Yeah. So, you know, each company has a little bit different process, but basically there's, there's fabric swatches. You can look for almost every single company to where, you know, if you, you like a certain style, but the color's not going to work for you, we're going to give you a bunch of options. Um, you know, those options not necessarily going to be more expensive. A lot mm -hmm. of times, you know, they're the same, if not less expensive. Mm -hmm. We're basically showing you a product that you can customize, which sure. other stores don't necessarily always do. And that's the experience we're trying to, to give you at Home Economy that's a little bit different. You know, uh, it's funny because uh, when the CEOs of Home of Economy are in on the podcast, I always I marvel at the length of time that a lot of the employees in that store have been there. And the Amish Furniture Gallery, I tell you what, there's, it's no different because you yeah. that staff there has been there for a long time. Absolutely. You know, we have two employees that have been there, uh, Glenn and Arlene, for over 40 years. And you know, that actually tells you a lot about not only the company, but the department. You know, it's a it's a environment to where people stay. People make a career out of this because they enjoy what they're doing. And I think it shows, you know, you certainly see the, the pride in what they're selling. Um, but they absolutely love coming to work every day. You know, it doesn't get much more local than that, does it? No, absolutely not. I mean, people grew up here. People are selling to their friends, their, fr their family, coworkers, things like that. I mean, we have been doing it for such a long time that, you know, basically, even if it's not my necessarily customer, but I'm going to recognize these customers who come. Sure, we, sure. You know, wonderful, loyal customers who have shopped with us for many, many, many years. And I can't go a week without somebody telling me, you know, I bought my first bedroom set here 40 years ago or um, and they probably still have it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. They're just, you know, I'm ready for an up change, up, you know, a, a change of look. And, so. and, you know, a lot of people, they think when they hear Amish gallery, they think, oh boy, we're, we're talking some serious money here. Yeah. But the thing is, and I'm a firm believer in this because I chinsed my way through many years of my life and you always end up paying for it. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is you pay for what you get. Absolutely. But that's actually another myth. You know, a lot of times people walk in and go, oh, I, I'm not even going to look at an Amish made product because it's more expensive. We've got plenty of product that's actually less expensive than the imports. So you got to think we're working with about 50 different shops. Some of them are, are making small end tables and mm -hmm. they're just out to make a living. So it's not like they're charging us a ton of money and we pass that on to the customer. So the wonderful thing is we can find an Amish product for every budget. Mm -hmm. That's that's the thing that people don't understand. Just because it says Amish made doesn't mean that it's super expensive. Yeah, and I found that out after shopping numerous stores in Fargo. Uh, and I kept telling her the whole time, you know, we need to go back to Grand Forks, uh, look at Home of Economy and the Amish Gallery. And, and I did notice because of what we were looking at there and the price is almost spot on. Uh, absolutely. But you're getting a better made product. Ab yes. You're getting solid woods. You're getting better catalyzed varnishes. You're getting better fabrics. Choices that you can't get anywhere else. And it, it's actually a really uh, nice thing that you brought up Fargo because we're growing in Fargo. We have tons of customers who drive at least an hour. Mm -hmm. We have got a basically a 150 mile radius where people drive to us because yeah. they know what we carry. Absolutely. You know, and that's what they're willing to spend. Now, how long has the Amish Gallery been in Home of Economy? Uh, you know, it's one of their oldest departments. They've, I, I can't tell you the exact dates, but uh, basically Glenn worked in the uh, electronics department 40 years ago and, and transferred over to furniture. So basically, I, I want to say it's 50, 60 years at least. Um, and basically, we've had customers since then that still shop at Home Economy. Well, how's the Amish Gallery grown like Home of Economy has? Because they're both doing so good. Mm -hmm. the, the amazing thing is 
once we get customers um, who buy that first Amish product, it's almost like an addiction. You put it next to a product that you've bought somewhere else or imports and you compare the two and you come back and you add a piece and you add a piece and you add a piece. Uh, basically our regular customer base is outstanding. We absolutely mm-hmm. love every single one of them, but basically, um, you know, we're bringing in better product and that product line has grown, especially with the Amish in 15 years. I mean, it's basically taken up half our floor. Yeah. I, I was going to mention that you talk about, uh, you buy one piece of furniture and pretty soon you're going to add to it and add to it. Well, it's the same with the gallery in, in the uh, home of economy store. It's not getting any smaller. That's for sure. That's right. uh, you keep growing and growing and, and adding more product all the time in there too. Yeah. Yeah, so basically our our whole deal with the sales staff that we have is giving you options. So we bring in new things. We 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 show you what you can do with a existing product that's already there. So basically you can take an end table and it's shown in oak. You want it in brown maple or cherry or quarter sawn oak or you want a different size or a different stain. There's basically upwards of sometimes a thousand different ways you can make that one end table. Wow. That, that the amazing thing is you wouldn't know that if you weren't getting yeah, that assistance. Right. And that's exactly it. it. It's not just what's on the store, on the on the floor of the store. Right. Um, everything can be tweaked. And, and that is the one thing I absolutely love about that. Now, why just Minot and Grand Forks for the Amish galleries? I mean, you kind of hit on it that people are not afraid to drive. Correct. To buy this great furniture. But why only those two stores? Well, I think there's there's some limitations, like in the Devil's Lake store or Grafton store. Um, one of the thing is, you know, you need to have the dedicated space to show off um the, the furniture that we're very, very proud of. The other thing is, when we're selling that fine of furniture, you want assistance with somebody who knows what they're doing. Mm-hmm. You, you know, we're not something that you can just put up on a, a sales rack and gotcha. grab and go. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do sell off our floor and people do that. But basically, we want people um, to have the entire experience. We want you to be shown what this product is, how different it is than everything else. And you just can't get that if you're just walking down an aisle. You know, so we want trained people to actually walk you through the process. Now I get you. Okay, yeah. so say somebody lives where there's not, you know, if, if they're not in Minot or Grand Forks, but maybe a different home of economy location mm-hmm. somewhere else. Um, is there any way that if they came here to have something, can that be delivered to the home of economy we, in their hometown? We do that all the time. That actually is a really um, nice feature. By mm-hmm. having stores in Jamestown and Watford City and Williston and Rugby, basically we can, you can drive for two hours mm-hmm. and drive to us, purchase your furniture. We can actually ship it to those stores at North. Okay. Cost. You can just pick it up there. So we do deliver into a hundred mile radius all the time, but basically you can actually take a product um, and purchase it here and ship it to Williston and just pick it up. Uh, by the way, we did get a text and uh, thanks, Tim. Just purchased a new bed from Home of Economy. Very happy with delivery and setup. You got to like hearing that. Yes. And so we want the entire experience to be wonderful for our customers. So it doesn't just mean walking into the store and purchasing. We want that delivery process to be absolutely amazing, too. And we get calls all the time from customers saying how wonderful our delivery crew is because they're going to take care of your furniture, bringing it in and setting it up and making sure that you know how um, everything needs to be uh, put together and or um, cared for. So basically when we get a uh, delivery staff, we train them. Um, not only do we want the best and the brightest, we want the people that are actually going to take care of your furniture when you're bringing it in. All right. Now the same thing uh, we found in Fargo, uh, ordered a, a few pieces of furniture there. They said it was going to be up to five months. Uh, we ordered the the glider from the Amish gallery, said it could be up to four months. Mm-hmm. You hear people talking about it all over. What is the delay? I mean, I'm sure the pandemic has got something to do with it, but why is it taking so long? Basically, pre-pandemic, most of the companies that we were working with, um, Homestretch, Best, they were working on about, you'd order your furniture, it would come to us within about four to six weeks. Um, Amish were eight to 12 weeks. That's pretty common because most of these places are a little bit smaller shops. And Mm -hmm. basically, between two and three months, you're going to get it. When the pandemic hit and a lot of these states actually shut down, of course, the manufacturing process shut down. Sure. And that, that was a trickle-down effect. Uh, but a lot of stores like ours were open. So we were taking orders, sending them in. So by the time they got back six weeks later and opened up their manufacturing process, they were already six weeks on top of that behind. Yeah. And now that these manufacturers are struggling sometimes with, with um, components, whether it's foam, wood, um, reclining mechanisms, things like that. It has not stopped. Most people have, you know, forego the the vacation this year and things like that. So they focused on their home. They were in their home more. So naturally, you're going to buy that new sofa because you're sick of sitting on the one that's all broke down. So the furniture volume ordering has gone up. Manufacturing process has slowed way down. So 
The Amish are, are kind of their own little pocket community. Mm -hmm. They haven't really suffered from that. Right. So basically, the Amish used to be the, the product of ours that actually took the longest. Now it's actually coming about the quickest. Wow. Where some of our product used to be about four to six weeks have now run into about six months. Oh. So we saw this coming. Uh, we, we did a little bit of uh, overstocking and overordering because our customers are accustomed to coming in the store, wanting a product, taking it home. Um, so we continue to do that and we try to keep our floor full. So we've got semis upon semis of product, but the special order process has slowed down a little bit and we warn our customers of that. You know, if you really want to change this sofa from green to blue, you know, you might be waiting four months, five mm -hmm. months and each, each co company is a little bit different. So. Um, do you guys now say here in Grand Forks, you mentioned how you deliver from store to store. Um, if I was to buy a furniture set from the Amish gallery here in Grand Forks, home of economy, do you deliver there too? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got our own crew here in the Grand Forks store that's based um, in our store. So we deliver with that crew up to 100 miles. So, I mean, we delivered to Devil's Lake and set up. We delivered to Bemidji. We delivered to Fargo areas. Um, and those are coming out of our store with our delivery crew. If it's further than that, then there are other options. Mm -hmm. One of them is shipping to the, to the uh, store that you're closest to. Say you live in Bismarck, we can ship it to Jamestown. You can pick it up there. Sure. I realize it's not super close, but that's about the closest yeah. we'll be able to do. The other wonderful thing is if you do purchase from the Amish, there's a company down in Ohio that works with the Amish called Packship USA that actually we can set up for you. Um, basically, if you want to buy a table and chairs or you're moving down to Arizona even, oh. um, you can actually contact Packship USA after your product's done. They'll actually ship it to you. So you can purchase it out of Grand Forks, North Dakota, and have it shipped to Alaska if you'd like. Oh, So we actually keep a little map in the store about where we've actually um, shipped all our product to. And I mean, it's all four quarters, including Hawaii. So essentially, um, we've shipped... I want to say 40 out of every 50 states just because you can purchase it here and we can get it to you another way. And, you know, if this wasn't good quality furniture, you wouldn't see that. Absolutely not. So basically, that's a whole other thing where people walk in and go, you know what? I absolutely love this. I know I'm not going to find this when I'm moving down to Arizona. Mm -hmm. I'm going to purchase it now and we're going to have it shipped down there because I know who I'm buying from. I know what the quality is. Um, and that's an amazing thing to walk into a store and have that ability. Now at the Amish gallery, who's your typical customer on a day-to-day -day basis? You know, we actually do get everybody from, you know, the people with the new, um, apartments all the way up to the retirees who are actually settling in on a retirement home. Um, uh, on average, our customers definitely are a little bit older than average than your typical slumberland, but we get the 18 year old who's buying his first sofa. We get the 80 year old who's buying their last bedroom set that they're going to bring with them and downsize. So we've got everybody from A to Z. Um, and that's actually how, you know, we've kept on to our customers. Because once we get those younger couples, they're going to come back again. Mm -hmm. They're going to buy a dining room set and they're going to add bar stools two years later. And they're going to add, you know, a, a crib sure. three years later. So the wonderful thing is you can grow with us like we're going to grow with you. So, And, you know, another thing I always mention during these Home of Economy podcasts is that Home of Economy is, is like my favorite store in Grand Forks. I'm there between two and three times a week, mm -hmm. every single week, because I buy pretty much everything I need there. I consider myself a very loyal customer. When I'm in Home of Economy, mm -hmm. I see a lot of the same customers in there. They're just as loyal as I am. Yep. But is it getting that way or is it, is it that way too with the Amish gallery? Absolutely. We've got customers where, you know, they purchased 20 years ago. They've, they're back 10 years later. They're back five years later than that. So, I mean, our customers are extremely loyal. We recognize them. You know, it's not a lot of times you can walk into a store and actually get called by your first name. Yeah. So, you know, the wonderful thing is it's like a little community inside mm -hmm. home economy. We want those new customers. We absolutely do. But we absolutely adore the people that keep coming back because they know what home, home home economy is all about yeah so you've got loyal customers and loyal people that work at home of economy because mm -hmm. uh, it's the same thing i might walk in and they'll know me by a first name basis and i know a lot of those guys on the floor by yeah. a first name basis too so that is another great thing i like about it um any exciting promotions going on in the furniture world these you know, days one of our big four that we have every year is president's day so it's actually um coming up now we have promotions throughout the entire year you know basically in january there's specials on mattresses and things like that but president's day is an all-encompassing one that we 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 absolutely um, get overwhelmed with, so we actually start pre-selling for it. So basically with President's Day, you know, we offer everything in the department 15% off. And then there's another caveat to that, if you uh, pay with cash check credit card. So anything other than financing, you get an additional 5% off. So one of our big four sales that we have every year, so President's Day for us is extremely busy. 
Uh, but we invite the customers to come in before President's Day weekend so we can walk you through that special order process. Oh, sure. We don't want you to feel rushed, and we certainly don't want to overwhelm you with options. So basically, from now through President's Day, we're working with customers on a one-on-one basis. You know, I didn't realize it till I started looking for new recliners and a glider um, that it's almost like buying a car. I mean, you... I test drove a lot of, of furniture, mm-hmm. um, you know, oh, how's this one? And, 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 and you don't realize it, but if you're looking for good furniture, it's not just walk in and 10 minutes later, you walk out of there. So that's a great idea. Get in there, start looking, mm-hmm. start thinking, um, start if you want changes, you know, if you want them specially made, why not go in now and, and test drive a couple of yeah, these Yeah, you nice know, the pieces. amazing thing is there are changes in furniture that every year. And, and some people walk in and, you know, they want that old rocker recliner. Mm-hmm. Well, now you can get power. There are a lot of recliners that have power lumbar and power headrest and things like that. So there's a lot of options out there that have changed really fast uh, that give people even more comfort options. It's kind of like that customer who's shopping for a mattress. You're going to find the comfort that's right for you. Mm -hmm. We've got a recliner that's right for you that may not be right for the next person. So take your time. You know, really, it's it's an environment where we don't push people extremely hard. We want you to find the right product, and that's what we're trained to do. And and that brings this story up. Um, My favorite chair that I've sat in for years, I just realized after sitting in all these other chairs in the Amish gallery that mm-hmm. it wouldn't be my favorite chair because I didn't realize that you can, that they, some have higher backs, some are lower. Yep. Well, mine that I, my favorite one, you're like this all the time. Yep. Well, now the one we ordered, it actually goes all the way up to my head and I never even knew that there were differences like that. So yeah, and little, little things like people have started putting, you know, but way back when your TVs were down low mm-hmm. and gradually they've been going up and mounted to the wall and things like that. Well, if you're in a recliner and reclined, wouldn't you want something to support your head while you're watching sure. TV? So taller backs, tilting headrests, those are all options now that you didn't get 10 years ago. You know, you talk about the four big sales in the Amish gallery. Do you guys do monthly specials too? Yeah, absolutely. Throughout the entire year, you're going to be able to walk in and we're going to, you know, have um, certain products on sale like a lot of times in january it's a mattress event for pretty much um uh the entire month but basically february march april may you're never without a sale um and if we're a little further away from the sale we're certainly going to tell you about the next upcoming one so you know basically we're going to walk you through a process but we're also going to tell you how to get the best deal now when you talk about walking you through the process it's not like uh being in the rest of the store where it's a lot of hustle and bustle Mm -hmm. and and things you know people they have their list of what they're going to get when it comes to buying furniture, uh, you know, that that's that's a pretty big investment for mm-hmm. some people. You're going to take the time to work with these people. It doesn't matter if you sit and talk to them for 10 minutes or if you talk to them for two hours. Oh, yeah. Um, that's another great thing about the people in the Amish gallery. Uh, they're there for you, the customer. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're here to actually help you through the process. We've had customers have taken months before. Mm-hmm. That's okay. We see that all the time. Some people are, are quicker at making decisions. Other people need a lot of options. We will sit down on a sofa with you, drop your cart at the carpet. Don't push your uh, car battery through our department. Just leave it there. Come in and relax. And basically, we're going to make it an environment where we're going to be giving you options, but having fun doing it. Mm-hmm. You know? uh, that's why I got the stairs when I was walking through there with a <laughs> gallon of paint. <laughs> Yeah, we, we don't like thing. food and beverage that are open and things like that. But, you know, cans of paint, that's that's a little different. But. Yeah, especially since I had tipped over a full gallon of stain on my carpet about a month <laughs> before that off of a coffee table. And now I have new carpet. You know, it's funny because I have I have family back on the East Coast and they ask me about the store that I work in. And I'm like, well, it's a store within a store. And then I kind of have to explain, you know, you can go and get car batteries. You can go and get sportswear. You can go and get food. You can go and get bait. Mm-hmm. And they, they, you know, kind of look at you funny. I'm like, that's the kind of store that I work in. And I absolutely love it. Yeah. It, I mean, it's a store at a store. And, mm-hmm. and it, it, that's the thing. It is like going into a whole different mm-hmm. store when you walk through yeah. the, the little gate thing there. Yeah. So, you know, you're, you're walking from an environment where it's a department store into a carpeted furniture gallery. And that's how we want to portray, you know, it, it's we love those customers who walk through the store. We want you to come in and we want you to kind of see what we're all about rather than walking up and, uh, you know, kind of glancing in. Come on in. There's a, it's a big department. There's a lot of fun things around every corner. So You know, you're uh, like the typical home of economy, Amish gallery um, employee. It seems like you really like your job. You know, I absolutely love coming into work. And uh, years ago when I, when I came to home of economy, it was immediate. 
I mm. felt welcomed. I felt like the customers were absolutely wonderful. It's a whole different environment. And that's why we have customers who are in, in employees that stay for so long. You know, we're not here for six months and leaving because we make relationships with our customers. The relationships that I can have, you know, for 10 more years with a certain customer, I'm going to remember you and you're going to remember me and we work together. Mm -hmm. You know, the wonderful thing is, um, sometimes building a home takes a, a awful lot of years and oh, we're, yeah. we're willing to, to walk you through when you're ready. You know? Wow. Um, Amish gallery. A lot of people don't know it's in home of economy, but, uh, I tell you what, <laughs> if you're looking for good quality furniture and you guys have got so many different things and brands and all that stuff mm -hmm. to pick from. Yeah. You know, you can, you can walk in and still get that old fashioned curio, uh, that dining hutch, that bedroom sets, mm -hmm. um, you know, we work with American-made products like Von Bassett, Craft Master, um, Ort, um, some wonderful name brands. You can come in and get the newest products, or you can get product that, like I said, is customized just for you. Um, so there isn't very many things on our floor when you walk in that you can't change. Mm -hmm. And that's the wonderful thing about it is we have an abundance of options for whatever you're looking and at. you know i don't think a lot of people realize that they think what's on the floor is what you can get and that's not the case at all and it's basically because they're used to shopping at other stores sure when you walk in they make this sofa in this color if you don't like it we're going to move on to another one well we can give you options to where if you absolutely fell in love with that sofa and you don't like the color we'll give you options on getting the right color for you so it's it's a different experience for our customers and sometimes it's that training of okay, you've been to 10 different stores and they've all told you the same story. We're going to tell you a little bit different one. And we're going to actually walk you through a process where you're going to be happier in the long run because you're getting exactly what you picture in your head. And, and that's a good uh, point because um, I know when, with the glider we were purchasing, um, there were many, many different options. Yeah. It's not just like, okay, well, if you don't like that color, you can get this one, this one, or that one. Yeah. I mean, I think we looked through a whole book, if not more than one. Yeah. And, and you know, the funny thing is there's, there's two different kinds of customers of ours. Uh, there's the ones who are guy shoppers. They mm -hmm. go to Menards, they grab something off a shelf and they're ready to go. And we have those shoppers and that's why we keep product in stock. We also have the ones who want to take a little bit more time and get exactly what they want. They don't want their, what their neighbor has. They want to fit into their own um, decor. And that's what we're trying to offer everybody. So if you're maybe doing a little remodeling or changing up your paint scheme in your house or something, and, and you know, this is going to be a future thing now would be the time to go in there. Uh, because again, there are a few delays, but um, mm -hmm. again, let's hit on this before we get out of here. Uh, your big uh, President's Day sale uh, to get some more people in there um, yeah. and, and start ordering up. Yeah, basically, you know, the official sale is uh, Friday the 12th through Monday the 15th. Uh, big, huge four day weekend. But because it's packed into four days, we want to make sure that everybody gets one-on-one -on -one time. So come on in early. We do take special orders and product uh, orders early. Uh, that way, we just post them for the weekend of the sale. You get your product without being rushed, and we're able to um, you know, fulfill your order. So. so you have to work President's Day? You know what? In the retail <laughs> business... Um, you just get used to working oh, yeah. weekends. It's it's a normal thing. We're mm -hmm. all okay with it. You know, the wonderful thing is I got used to having days off during the middle of the week, which when my kids were in school were wonderful. Kids went off to school. I could go run errands and things like that. The weekends to me are when you're going to visit with the most people. So yeah. it, it's just a normal thing for us. Yeah, I was uh, radio for 35 years. There were no weekends. Yeah. Uh, I, I know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. uh, boy, I tell you what, um, Jason, it's been great talking yeah, to you. Thank um, you. I didn't know who was going to come in the studio today, but... Uh, Go check it out, folks. Um, the Amish Furniture Gallery at Home of Economy here in Grand Forks. Uh, also have the one in Minot. But if you're looking for some good, good American-made furniture, check out the Amish Gallery. That's going to do it for this week's edition of our Home of Economy podcast. We'll give it a week or so and see who's coming on next and what we're going to talk about. There you go. Home of Economy. Check it out in the Amish Gallery right here on GFBS. GFBS.